What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. So today we're going to go ahead and talk about our friend T-Rex miner. So there's a lot of you guys out there that have showed up to the channel that have a computer with a decent graphics card in it, but you really don't know where to start. Uh, you're trying to get your hands on some GPUs. You got one available. It's, it's on your day-to-day -day rig. You game on it, you work on it, um, you play on it. And, uh, but you want to mine when you're when you're not actually using the computer. Well, T-Rex Miner is a great option for you uh, if you're running an NVIDIA card, which most of you guys most likely are. And uh, I wanted to take five minutes and show you guys exactly how to use this. Uh, we're not going to go into overclocking uh, an MSI afterburner, but uh, we're just going to get you guys up and running in five minutes. So let's do it. So you come over to the website T-Rex-Miner.com. I'll put a link down below. You click download. You select Windows here, and it will go ahead and give us an error. Oh, I can't download this if you're using Chrome. In Chrome, come up to the top right to the dots, go down to Settings, select Privacy and Security on the left, select Security in the middle, and do No Protection. This will, And then this will get you by short term. Now go ahead and try to download this again. And it finished. So now go back into Google Chrome, into our privacy and security and set things back to standard. And we're good to go. So let's go ahead and open this zipped file. We're gonna extract it right to this location right here, which is our downloads folder. Great. So once this goes ahead and finish downloading, this is what you're presented with. So I, I go ahead now and grab your Ethereum wallet address. Um, if you're going to be using this for Ethereum, you can also use it for Ravencoin if you want. Um, there's also Veals in here, uh, Conflux is in here. But for this situation, we're just going to do Ethereum. So each of these, you can see ETH is Ethereum and then the pool after it. I really enjoyed using two miners. So that's what we're going to use for today's example. We're going to right click on two miners. And we're going to go to edit. It's going to prompt us out of concern. We're going to run it anyway. Now that we're here, um, we can see that we are running two miners, uh, the algorithm we're using, ETH hash, and it has a wallet address in here. Well, that's not our wallet address. So we're going to go ahead and delete that and replace it with our own wallet address. So this is most likely a developer's address, which is pretty common. They leave it in there. So just in case you forget to change it, they make a few bucks here and there. So right away, T-Rex miner, ETH hash, the mining pool, our address for our uh, ETH, uh, Ethereum wallet, and we're going to right click, or we're going to click on file and save. Done. Awesome. So now we're going to go ahead and locate that file that we just edited, and we're going to double click on it. Now it's going to go ahead and start this process here so we'll give this a minute and now we are running a uh, 3060 here um, so keep that in mind as we get into this this is a uh, uh, nvidia 3060 xc directly from newegg shuffle that we got in um, i'm currently not running the 470.05 driver to get uh, additional hash rate in Windows. Um, I'm just using this as a test right now, so my hash rate is gonna be lower. It's actually gonna be limited. Uh, if you guys do need the driver uh, for, uh, was it 470.05, I'll put a link down below in the description if you're a fellow 3060 um, runner. I run a 3060 in my gaming rig. Um, I'm actually using, I think it's uh, driver 466 right now. So while this starts uh, the process here of uh, going ahead and building the DAG, you can go ahead and load up MSI Afterburner. Now, spend your time and research on looking into this and what settings work best for your card. If you're interested in doing this, you can really do some damage, but um, MSI Afterburner will allow you to overclock and undervolt your graphics card to get the best result out of your mining experience. Um, so keep that in mind as you start to get into this, your hash rate will be kind of your stock hash rates. 
And then when you go ahead and do some overclocking, you're going to see significantly better hash rates that are available for us, which is the way to go. Alrighty, so uh, that was kind of odd. I actually had to reboot my computer and everything started working. Um, within Phoenix Miner, it kept posting of GPU crashing. Um, so, of course, perfect time, you know. Hey, uh, hobbyist miner, you want to go ahead and record a video? Nope, nope, not allowed. Going to go ahead and give you issues. You know, pretty typical. Not everything you see in YouTube videos is uh, uh, rainbows and butterflies. Uh, but that being said... Um, we have Phoenix Miner up. All we did was start it exactly the way we did before. Now, you can go ahead and use MS Afterburner, as I was talking about, to go ahead and overclock and undervolt your card to get better performance out of it, uh, as well as to use less wattage, uh, which is the end goal with mining, you know, more with less uh, in that regard. But this is it, guys. You go ahead and just let this sucker run, um, and uh, it is mining to the pool. Uh, twominers.com. If you go over to twominers.com, you can actually, uh, if you open that website, uh, twominers.com, once you're over here, take your Ethereum wallet address and paste it right in there. Once you go ahead and paste it right in there, uh, then it's going to go ahead and give you all the stats on your Ethereum wallet. So um, that allows you to see like how close you are to payout, um, you know, what your, what your hash rate is, um, an actual hash rate is uh, that you are doing. Um, so you have to go over to the pool and that's where you can find all that information. You can also see down here, regular payouts per every two hours. There's fees uh, on pools in order to, um, you know, transfer those. So that is definitely something to keep in mind uh, is how that works. Other than that, guys, this is it. This is, this, this is, um, T-Rex Miner, very simple, very easy to use. Uh, I recommend that you guys do check it out. If you guys have any comments or questions down below, please leave it. But I tried to, I tried to make this under five minutes the best I could uh, to not overcomplicate this, to not go into details about triggers or parameters or configurations and literally just get you as a brand new miner up and running quickly. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.